For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez with another Chess Base 11 how to video for you. We've been looking for quite a while, about a half a year, in fact. If you go back and look at all the videos, we've done about six months worth of videos on how to do searches in Chess Base 11. It's not that it's a very complicated thing, it's just that it's very feature rich. There's a lot to it, a lot of ways to look for data in a large database of games, and I wanted to make sure that I showed you as much of that as I could before moving on. Now that you know how to do searches, one of the things you may find yourself doing is, is doing the same searches over and over again. There's a particular set of data you're looking for, a particular opening, where you keep going in and setting up a position, setting up a, a tabia, an opening position, and doing searches on it, looking at some games, leaving the program. When you come back the next time, you have to do the search again. So people will sometimes ask me, how do you save the results of a search? Well, the easiest way to do it is to create a new database and copy your searched games into that database and you'll have them. I'll demonstrate it to you. You can create a ton of databases. You can do as many as you have a hard drive space for. They're not permanent. They're not permanently on your hard drive. You can delete them at any time. It's not a lifetime commitment. You're not married to your database. So you can create as many databases as you want containing various search results. So here's how you do it. You go up to the application menu up here in the corner and click on it. Go to New and select database. We're going to create a brand new database. So we'll click on that. We get a dialog that comes up and your dialog is going to look different depending on what version of Windows that you're using but this is the standard Windows file select dialog. The default name for your file, your new database, is new database. So you want to change that to something a little more relevant. I'm going to be looking at the Caracon advanced variation. So I'm going to write CK defense here and click create new. And now I have an icon for a new database right here. And I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to go to properties. And this allows me to change the way the database appears on the database desktop. So let me change the name to Caro Con Advance. And since it's a database on the openings, I'll select openings as my icon type. You see this has changed. We'll click OK. And now we have a Caracon Advanced database right here. Next thing I want to do is go search for some games. But before I do that, I need to set up the board position that I'm looking for. So I'll click on the board button up here. I get a board window. And I'll just make the moves. That's the defining move of the Caracon Advance. I'm playing this as black. So I know I'm going to make this move with the bishop so the bishop doesn't get trapped behind a pawn chain. And that's what I'm looking for right here. This is basically what I'm after. So I can go back down here to the database desktop. Right click on Mega Database 2011 and select search. Now I've been playing this opening for quite a while. What I'm interested in here is new developments. So I'm going to look for stuff the last few years. So I'm going to change the years, 2007 to 2011. That will get me all the games from that span of years, plus a few games from the tail end of 2006. You do get chess tournaments that are played over the holidays and around the turn of the year. So you do wind up picking a few games from the tail end of 06 as well. Click on the Position tab and select Copy Board. There's our position. It brings it over <coughs> Excuse me, from the last board window we were in. Click OK to begin the search. And here we go. Takes a few seconds. And when we get to 100% down here, we see that it's done. Here's a list of games. Now, how do we copy them over into another database? It's easier than you think. Click on the first game in the list. That's left click, a single left click, then right click one time to get a pop-up menu. Go to edit and then pick select all from this menu. That highlights all the games. You've selected all of them. Now you click, right click again by the way, right click, go to edit and copy. Now it looks like nothing happened. What you just told Chessbase is you want to copy all these games. Now you come back down here to the database desktop right click, go to edit, and now select paste. And you get a confirmation dialog. Games 1 through 6,660, 
and there's some other parameters down here but we don't have to worry about any of this since we are in fact copying games into a new fresh empty database we don't have to worry about copying single doubles we don't have any we don't have to worry about that so we click OK and we have to wait a few moments but what it's going to do is copy those games over to this other database. Notice that it is copying the games from Mega Database to the new database. It's not moving them. They're not being taken out of Mega Database and put into another database. All those 6,660 games are still here in Mega Database 2011. You just made a second copy of them, of them over here to the Caracon Advanced Database. We double click on it, and there's our list of games. Now we can sort this list by a variety of criteria. What I like to do is I like to have annotated games appear first in the database because that's what I'm interested in. I'm interested in seeing what masters and grandmasters have to say about this opening. So the way I can resort these games, put them in a different order, so the annotated games appear first is by clicking on the VCS button. If we click on this column, each of these column headers is actually a button and you can resort a database by clicking on any of these buttons. Well, I click on VCS, bing, there we are. All of these games appearing at the top of the database now that have letters in this column it means those games are annotated. Now let's say I want this to become a permanent thing. In other words, I don't want to have to resort them every time. Let's say I want this to be the way the database always appears. I can do that as well. You come up here to the Games tab at the top. You notice I was clicking on different tabs. Click on the Games tab, and there's a button here that says Fix Sort Order. And what this will do is this will make this order of games permanent. Notice, and we can show you this, if you go over here to the game numbers, you'll notice they're all scrambled up. They're not in numerical order. We click Fix Sort Order, confirm it. Yes, we want to do that have to wait a few moments because it's going to totally reorganize this database. And when it's done, here we are with the games in this order. Notice we go to the number column. The numbers are now all in numerical order. The, game, the database has been permanently resorted, so we have annotated games appearing first in the database, which is great. Is now I can just start going through annotated games and seeing what people like Michael Adams, Lubomir Fatashnik, Igor Stahl, what they're saying about games in this particular opening. Next time around, we'll show you some more things to do with the new database of games that you create. Until then, for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thanks for watching.